Evening all, and welcome back to Satisfactory. So, uh, last episode we went through and got the hub upgraded to three. Yes, yeah, it's upgrade four in the top left corner, top right corner there. Um, and uh, I did rush through it a fair bit. I, I do admit that. Um, I know that was one of the comments on the previous videos that I kind of rushed through a lot to do as well. But um, what I've been really generally doing is following the hub upgrades in this this panel here in the hub. You've got the upgrades the uh, milestones, the, the tier zero upgrades, and um, I've just basically been following through them and uh, getting things going, but um, uh, yeah, I've been going a little bit faster in, um, but I do know to get to tier four where we are now, we need 100 plates, so that's what these machines were for, so let, yeah, this has got 100 plates in it, so let's grab those and uh, put them in here, and uh, launch that. That gives us access to some new buildings. Congratulations. You have unlocked pub feature, additional biomass generator. New buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Ninth objective, pub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, right. to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Okay, so I think that's the last tutorial one. You still get the upgrades, but um, I think this is kind of the last tutorial piece there. But um, yeah, that last upgrade gives us a second uh, biomass generator. So we can have two running at once. Um, but as I said, you're still limited by the power poles here. Um, they can still only have four connections to them at once. If we bring up the power cables, number two there, power cables. Yeah, you see it's got three or four. So I could connect this one to it as well. There we go there. You can't overload the power cables so much. They can take as much power as you like. You can have one power pole with ten gen well, three generators attached to it, I suppose. Um, but you can overload the power grid itself. That's the big thing that I do fall apart. I mean, now we're using four megawatts and we've got twenty to go. So yeah, but um, but I wanted to get those last upgrades there because that gives us the miner. And the miner is an important thing. The miner does exactly what it says on the tin. It mines. And to build it, we need uh, the portable miner, the iron rods, and some concrete. And uh, as I said, I think concrete is what I want to do first for it. And the reason for doing the concrete first above the other ones is because these foundations, uh, they are, yeah, they're sort of the backbone of everything. And um, I'd like to have concrete there. I am going to move things around slightly, though. Um, I've realized uh, I kind of want my uh, storage to be here. Did we build storage containers yet? I think, I think we can, can't we? No logistics. Ooh, no, we can. Yes, we can. There, storage containers. Okay. Um, uh, they're like giant boxes. They're, they're like uh, these things here. They're like chests, but they are they store lots of items and they have an input and an output so you can actually output to things automatically with them so that'd be quite useful um, and uh, uh, something I noticed um, or I think I noticed on a different video of someone playing I think uh, Bentham plays Manga Pot Gaming uh, they all have serial numbers on them like this is the Smelter 5000 and this is um, the stamp because that's what it does it stamps I think there's one later on called the hut or something like that, which is which is quite funny. But um let's take these things apart using our, our remove tool and uh take that off there. And, uh, we'll kind of start from scratch and we'll see how we're going here. So um I want to put in some more foundations. Um and get it confused on the controls here. Q is your build menu and tab is your internal menu, so it's a little confusing sometimes. Um let's put down some more foundations. And I can't do that one because I've run out. Okie dokie. Um, and let's put down some storage containers, but they are going to be very close if I do that. If I want the outputs, I'm going to struggle with this. We can always move the hub. We can always move the hub. I think that's probably going to be the better thing to do, is move the hub, because I have got loads of space on this side as well. So... Yeah, I think, I think I will do that. I think I'll put my storage here, move the hub over a bit, and then I can come out of the hub, and my storage is all there, 
but I've also got space then to have things like that. Let, let me let me show you. Let me show you. Right. So, um, as I said, when the stuff's on the ground, um, as I've said before, I don't know why I keep saying as I've said. It was a episode ago. So yeah. But um, when you put it on the the ground, it can be placed anywhere. When you put it on here, you see it snaps to the grid, and when you rotate it, it snaps 90 degrees. So that's quite useful. You've got an input which is the orange and an output which is the blue and uh, generally you want to leave space around things. I've seen people not leave space around things which is, uh, I, I, people build like that really close together which is very efficient but I don't like it. I, I prefer to spread things out so that I can get in between things um, so that I can see what's going on with it and space is not really a premium. Um, also, pretty much every machine has a ladder on it, and with these storage containers, if you stack them, uh, the ladders do connect, so you can just climb a ladder, um, in fact, do we can build another one? Uh, no, I've got no pipes, but if I build another one, I would just climb straight up and carry on climbing up as hard as you can go, so you can do that. Um, I think every machine has a ladder somewhere. Yeah, this one's got a ladder down up there. So, if you're ever stuck around a machine, you can generally get a ladder to go up it. And then climb up it so that's useful you can't lock these giant chests anyway um uh, it's, it's a bit weird though because these obviously have one two three four five six seven eight sixteen twenty four slots of storage and the personal storage has twenty five slots and that is that big and the storage containers are that big which is weird and later on you can build these and just put them down anywhere so it's not like that is the actual inventory of this building I am a little confused by that but well who am I to argue with uh, their take on physics I suppose right so I want to do concrete first and I want concrete to go into this one here so how do we make concrete uh, Concrete is not smelted in any way. Um, uh, smelter. Um, the only way to find out what the recipes are is generally to put the things down, the leaf, and then go to configure. So we can make iron ingots or copper ingots with a smelter. So we don't want that. What we want is the constructor, I believe. And uh, if I was to do that, you see now we've got the blue lines. See those blue lines appear in there? They line up with things and because you're on a grid it's so much easier to just control stuff it just makes life so much simpler for doing things so um, I'm gonna put this uh, uh, I'll put it there um, again things can always move things will move and we will get a belt and go from there to there like so okay and we're gonna need a belt coming in this side which has concrete Concrete is made from limestone. So if I go into here, you can see this has got the concrete recipe. Let's go with that one. Ba -bum. Over to our limestone. And uh, I think we'll pick this one up because we need it. And uh, we'll put the limestone in here. Boop. We need to connect it to the power grid. We can do with power poles. Power pole there, and then go. Uh, oh, I also want to put a power pole probably here. Somewhere, I don't think I can. No, I can't actually attach it to the building itself. Just see, it makes life easier to connect these two together. You can attach to there. Can't afford it. Oh, we don't have enough uh, cable. Right, let's go back to my bench, let's go to cable, let's make some more. And uh, now we can connect it. There we go, right, you connect it there. Uh, you can pretty much connect things for as far as you can see. So if I had a power pole over there somewhere, I could connect to it if it's way in the distance. Very, very useful. So we'll go that one to that one there. That will start getting power. That will start producing concrete. Concrete will turn up in this belt, da -da -da, and then end up in our uh, storage, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. But 
we don't want to have to manually grab the limestone every time and put it in there. We want to automate that. We definitely want to automate that. So, have a look. Can we build walls? We can. Can't put walls up against there. I've made it too close to the edge. Or I can't afford it anyway. That's encroaching on other things. That's encroaching on other things. So I'd have to move. Some some machines are a little too big, so I could put them all there. But then you can do. Uh, that I believe I'm not entirely sure. No, the walls don't. Um, I thought you could come out one and build a wall on rather than on this block. You would on the block next to it, but that's not how it works. The walls are shared between the two. So um, if I wanted to wall this off, I'd have to move it over one. See, this is this is called the construct. Construct, because it's a constructor, and then it's got a stamp. So this is a giant stamper. So quite funny. I quite like those names there. Quite witty. Um, right. So that's a constructor. That's doing our concrete. But yes, we don't want to. We don't want to have to grab the limestone all the time. So that's where the miner comes in. That's why we're trying to make a beeline for the miners to build a miner which is in production, there we go. Uh, we need, um, hold it, we need uh, a portable miner, which we just picked up, some bars and some concrete. And well, we don't have any iron rods, don't have any iron, iron plates. Uh, we we'll have to manually grab some iron, which we've got here. I'm not laying this base out very well at the moment, but We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Grab some iron rods. And uh, we need some concrete, which we are putting in here. Ta da! Grab the concrete. There we go. Awesome. So now we can build a miner. And a miner will go on the node that was in the center. Do you remember last episode I broke the nodes off of the center of these iron ones and the copper one that was down there? There were some rocks right in the center of them. Well, that's the node that you need to destroy in order to put the miner on top of it. So I'm going to turn the miner facing, I think, that way. Yeah, I think we'll have it facing this way. I have realized I've done this kind of wrong. What I should have done was put in the iron smelting uh, on this side and then there yeah, but I think I think I'm gonna change this up ever so slightly and just have this as a concrete one and then we'll build the iron one somewhere else um, or possibly behind it we'll see this is not ideal at the moment but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so we'll grab the conveyor belt and we will go um, along here unfortunately you can't snap it there's no button to just snap to um uh, hold left control snap to grid line it doesn't actually give me the grid line of the uh the conveyor which is a little annoying so we'll come out to uh i'll get it straight there we can go from there around to here we can't afford it we need more iron plates because i use all the iron plates up for upgrading the hub Make some iron plates, hopefully this will be enough. Right, if we come off of there, and then go you come around and down to here.
But you can actually put in these little poles here. So I can say, well, I want to put one there. And uh, I'm reading it disappeared. Um, I want to put there. Yep. There we go. Ah, okay. Okay. Yep, I know what I was doing wrong there. Um, so you put it down and then you can rotate to rotate it. So. Oh, there we go. And then you can just build your conveyor belts from that to that. I'm trying to do what I'm doing here. And we can't afford it once again, so. Back to more iron plates. Should have been better prepared for this, but um I'm trying to sort of rush getting one production done and then move on to the other ones. And it's not ideal. This this layout and setup I'm doing is terrible. But everything can be torn down and rebuilt as when it comes to it. And uh, you end up with spaghetti conveyor belts anyway. Um, even if you try and get things laid out really, really well. Uh, I've, I mean, obviously, I've, I've not played for that long. I think I got up to about here. About the miners is where I got to. Um, uh, but everyone I've seen play this game... Uh, has always ended up with spaghetti conveyor belts all over the place, so. There we go. And you can ride belts as well. You can sand them and ride them around, which is fine. And you don't get eaten by machines, thankfully. Okay. Interestingly, I can put a power pole right there, is... Kind of useful, but... That's exactly what I'm after. Right. Okay, and then to remove power lines, you've actually got to use the remove tool to remove things, so... But, um, adding power lines in like this may seem a little weird but but as I said that, that that's what I've said just a moment ago where um, it doesn't matter how far away you are um, I can go link that one to that one it doesn't matter how far away you are it sort of has an infinite range to it so yeah, it goes off and uh, there We've got 166 biomass in there there is another biomass recipe I think that's where I got to I was the one. Yeah, I think that's that's where I've got to. So, so I'm pretty much at the point where this is as far as I know with the game, um, other than the stuff that I see. So you go faster than the stuff that's on the belt. Well, that's interesting. Um, I was expecting to move with that stuff, but um, as you can see, that will. Come along from our miner. Our miner will do it. The resources are infinite, as far as I'm aware. They never run out. So uh, the Mark One miner will put all this onto the belt. The belt will bring the stuff around and uh, deposit it into the machine to our uh, constructor. And the constructor will make the concrete, and then the concrete will go from a constructor into our storage and then the other side of our storage we can have a belt coming out and going off wherever we want it to go to so if we have a recipe later on that requires concrete we can have it come out of here and go off down there and, and uh, go and do whatever it needs to do so yeah realistically i should have had this come this way um had the constructor this side and uh, the concrete then come out this way that would have made much more sense still might do that but I just generally wanted to get concrete going because concrete is the thing that you use the absolute most of that I've discovered um, I'm probably wrong you probably use way more iron plates that would make sense as well but um, I always found myself like this can't afford to put down the final tile because I need two more concrete and uh, yeah always always struggling so uh, Let's move our hab back and we can move things around. I'm not going to move things around this episode. We'll, we'll leave it as it is. 
Uh, belts can go over each other, so long as they don't touch each other, they're absolutely fine. So, um, that's going to be our next port of call, is here. We're going to have um, some more things. So, let's get another storage container, which we can't do. We're going to need iron plates and iron bits and pieces of this. We don't have any iron going on here. So, let's grab these two. We're going to need them to make more miners. Miners? Do I want to make the miners first? Nope, I need need poles. Can't do anything without the rods. Um, so yeah, and then uh, once we've got our iron going, the only one left is going to be the copper. And then we'll have a basic factory set up with all the resources that we've got, which would be awesome. And uh, we can then go into looking to the new things. Um, whatever comes next. I don't know what's next. What, what is our next our next milestone? Uh, oh, the hub upgrade of five. Ah, oh, actually, no, I tell a lie. I did, this was where I was at. This was on my, on my my single player that I played through to do it as well. I unlocked the space elevator. I couldn't afford to put it down. So, so I, I have done this upgrade here. Didn't play with it at all though. But um, yeah, I have done that one. Um, there is no way to automatically input stuff into this, you've got to do it manually. So you do always have to grab things out of there and put them in there, so you can't just feed stuff directly into it via a belt or something. Which is probably good because the, the things require change all the time, so it's very difficult to know what's what. Let's grab some of that. Let's make some more copper ingots. And make some more wire and some more cables, because cables are used for a lot of things as well. Okay, and then hopefully we have enough to make a couple of miners. We don't have any concrete. Luckily we have a box here. Right. But let's put down two miners and we'll have them face. Uh, the one I'm facing basically here. So you face there, and you face there, like that. Okie dokie. And we'll put in a power pole between them, and then connect that power pole to that power line there, and then connect you to there, and you to there. And away we go. And let's check our power system. We're using 19 and we are producing 20. So if I add one more machine to this system, it's going to collapse. It's going to go terribly wrong. And I'm going to do that and show you what it does for anyone who hasn't seen it. Because uh, it's kind of an important thing. Uh, and we have walls. We don't have any walls with foundations inside yet. So don't want to get ahead of myself. Right. Um, not foundations, sorry. Uh, slots in them. So we're going to need iron plates and iron rods. What do we have in logistics? I've only got the belts. Okay. I don't know when we get things like splitters. So we're going to need some more... Um, I was trying to copy that then. I was trying to walk up to it and press C to copy. And, uh, this is not factory town, you can't copy things that way. Uh, so we're gonna need a couple more constructors. Can't afford. We need reinforced iron plates, of which we have one, I think. Yeah. So we need loads more, and that's because we need loads of screws. Uh, let's make more iron rods. One. Uh, right, that should be enough. Build at least two more constructors. Yes, it is. Right. So let's uh, see. This important to make sure they're facing the correct direction. And yeah, bring it back. And you see, I don't know if you can see that there. You, there's two blue lines. There's one coming off the constructor, which means we're lined up with that one. 
As we move up, there's another line going to the right, which means we're lined up with the inventory. So we click that. Then we want to put down another storage container. And I'm basically putting these in the center of the squares. So, oh, I'm up here. Um, in fact, if I go up on top of the hub, it's going to be easier to see. Um, if I put it there, then its, uh, it's bounding box is sort of in line with this edge, so to speak. That power pulls in the wrong place, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it's um, bound box is lined up the edge. So then we build another constructor here. And it should also line up with the center of the block, like so. And uh, then you'd be able to put a wall along here. But you can't put a wall along here because they encroach out just a little tiny bit. So, not going to happen there. We do need to put in a uh, smeltery back here, though. Because what we want to do is we want to make iron plates and we want to make iron rods. And that uses 15 per minute, and that uses 30 per minute, I think. It is. That one's, that one's actually NASA in no power. Uh, recipe iron plates. Yeah, it's in no power, so. Fifteen per minute. Produces fifteen per minute. That produces fifteen per minute, but it needs fifteen per minute. Let me, let me hook these up to our power grid because this is a little annoying to see. Uh, I'm going to do this. Um, one there, and then we'll connect. No, not that machine. We want that one to be connected to that power line there. And then we want to connect you to there and you to there. there we go. And uh, that won't blow the system because we're now not producing as much. We're not using as much electricity, which is odd. Why we're we not using as much? Ah, I think they were running at full speed and now their internal buffer is full up, so then they've stopped. Um, so if all these machines come on, we will blow the power. But um, yeah, no power. So you require 30 a minute, and you require 15 a minute, and a smelter produces. I can't afford it. I need more iron rods. Damn it! Uh, but a smelter produces 30 a minute, I believe. Make. And more iron rods and put one down and have a look. I will learn these numbers at one point. Or well, actually, I probably won't. I probably won't learn these numbers. Um, I'll, I'll probably be looking them up all the time. Uh, I need to find a cheat sheet or something that tells me what things are. Uh, yeah. But um, even though I've left gap in between these two here, there is now no gap in between the constructors. So you've got to go there. And you can't jump over those arms. Which is a little annoying. Got to go around. So I've now made a wall here where I can't get round. I've got to go round. So um, yeah, that's why I like the spacing of things there. Uh, the ladders are on the back, so if I'm on this side, I can get over. But if I'm that side, I can't. So yeah. Right. So let's put down a smelter. Um, put it there for a moment. Just want to get into its uh, inventory, if you don't mind. And set you to steel ingots, and you produce thirty. You produce thirty a minute. Okay. So you can run one of these producing iron plates, and then you can run two of these. But we're not going to have to be running two of these, we're going to have to be running one of these. So, yeah, but smelters won't fit here, will they? No, they will not. Damn. Okay. Uh... Have I messed this up completely? Can I get any foundation in there? Nope. Right, I have messed this up completely. Okay. So, that means I need to get rid of this conveyor belt. Um, I'll let that go. Get rid of that bit of conveyor belt. Get rid of that. And that'll do. Right. And then put in... Uh, 
Yeah, do you know what? We're going to move this. Okay, we're going to move this one. We're going to go... Like so. Then we're going to go... I don't, I don't like that. I don't like the way it sort of sticks to the edge. I, I prefer it to be sort of. I prefer it to make its turn and then stop. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, yep, that worked. Put that there, and then. One here as well. Okay, and then we'll remove this belt. And you do pick up everything that's on the belt as well. Running your inventory space. If you haven't, it drops on the floor. And uh, then we're going to pick up the miner because you can't rotate stuff. You've got to uh, pick it up and put it down again. And then we're going to go here and we're going to point it roughly in this direction. So, like that. There we go. And then we will connect that to there, that to there. Um, if you build things when you're inside them, like this, um, you get stuck. Doesn't hurt you, you just get stuck. So you gotta dismount the stuff and then redo it. So we'll go from there to there, from there to there, from there to there, and on to there. There, and that looks a bit better. So, and then we've got to reconnect the power because the machine doesn't know that. And uh, yeah, you can see now we've got that gun on there, and we can still have outputs here. We've still got space for them, so not a major problem. Um, move that power pole, put it in. Like so, okay. So you connect to that. You connect. That and you connect to that one. Go. Okay, and then you're gonna whiz up. It takes a little while to fire up before it actually gets going. The drill actually does appear and start digging down into the ground. And as it starts digging down, we start getting limestone out, and then that will all start working again. Everything will be awesome once again. Okay, so let's get our smelters in place. Um, we want to do that blue out, and then if we bring them along, you see you got the the line appears once again. Uh, apparently, that is at an angle to the miner, which is not really what I want. If I'm honest with you, I don't think it matters particularly. One there, then we'll put one. There, so, and uh, we are going to have to move these miners around because they're facing in the wrong directions. Because of uh, things, so, oh. and I'm being a little bit. You, you don't have to be the way I am with these uh, uh, belts. You can, you can just. Put them in any old how you can connect them up whichever way you want to um let me, let me show you for instance i could just now say hey you connect to the miners i haven't put back in yet let's put the miners down um and we'll face them say that way that way there we go good so you connect to that one there which it won't do because it's it can't get round that angle well, we can't afford it we don't have that but it will connect at that angle it's it looks weird and that's the reason i run things around the, the long ways but i want to make things look good as i'm doing it which is not the best way of doing things i know okay so you are on do we have any iron ore on us no we've got lime that's iron that's iron oh sorry we're not using that so you want limestone don't you so we've got a bit of limestone there we go 
Um, we need to make some more copper plates. We could have fired up a smelter, but I think that will blow our power grid. I will do that. I'll, I'll blow the power grid on purpose so you can see what you've got to do when it all goes terribly wrong. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. Uh, in fact, let's let's kind of do that now. So you oh, three or four. So we need to put in another power pole here. And connect you to that one, you to that one, you to that one. And if I go into here and I set you to iron ingots and throw the iron in, if I can find it, there is copper with iron. Limestone? Oh, iron, there we go. Pop, throw the iron in there. I'll do the same. Iron ingots. Throw the iron in there. And our system is still not going to completely collapse, which is a little surprising. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Let, let's, let's blow the system. So, connect you up. Connect you up. There we go. Bomb. Email received. Power exceeded. And there we go. It's now flashing yellow because uh, we're dead. And we've got a big fuse box over here. And if you click and pull it down, it throws off again because we're, we're producing, we're, we're using more than we're producing. So, to fix that, we can um, split these by right clicking. You can right click on a stack to split anything. And share the load between these two. Like so. And the fuse box is for the entire power grid. So, um, just do that. And then the entire power grid, 40 megawatts, will come online. And uh, that'll work because we've got 40 megawatts. So, that'll go, that'll go quite nicely. Uh, you do upgrade from biomass later, but. Right now, biomass is where we're at and where we're stuck, so I've got to go around and keep collecting bits and pieces. Um, and there is, I think, another recipe for biomass. I'm not sure on that, actually. We might be at the recipe. But yeah, I think we've upgraded the recipe, so I, think, I don't think there's any more biomass. There might be, I don't know. I don't know. But you, you go around picking up leaves and bits and pieces, and then you just transfer it into biomass, and then away you go. So, let's connect you to you, like so. Now we can't afford any iron plates at all, but you will start producing iron plates and bring them into here, and that will produce iron ingots. And then I don't even think we can, no, we can't afford, we've got no iron plates whatsoever, so go and make some more. Do then with that, with those iron plates, we can start making iron plates, which can go into our second one here. So we link you to there. And then link you to there. And then you are producing iron ingots. And uh, add some more iron ore, there you are. And you are then gonna go into here and you're gonna produce iron plates at 15. You, you require 30 and you make 15 per minute. Uh, you produce 30, so you can supply that fully. Uh, this one, however, is going to be a little bit behind on the times because uh, it can produce 30, or it's going to be a little bit ahead of time, right? It can produce 30, and this is only require 15. But um, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So we've got some iron plates there. So why don't we connect these up? Bump to there. And then I don't think I can afford that. Yes, I can. There we go. That's going to go into there. That's going to start this going. There we go. And then this will fill up. And once this fills up, obviously this will just back up and go along there. Uh, you can get splitters, I've seen. I don't know when they get unlocked, but you can get splitters. So we can have this come off here and then split off, go along here to another one. So we can have two of them making iron rods. Which end up in here. Um, I don't know what you need more of. Iron rods or iron plates or whether it's even. Um, I don't know iron is used more than coal and limestone is used everywhere so but um yeah that's 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 kind of it that's it done for 
for our mining upgrade. I will connect this one up and then we'll bring this episode to a close, I think. I'm going to move this round again. Kind of annoying you can't um, rotate buildings once they're down. But you can place them at a really long distance. Um, that's because I'm trying to build a smelter. That's why it's not snapping. There we go. Right, there we that's snapping there, so we want to do that. Or that, that I think. That would be the better thing to do. Loads of concrete, bit of iron plates. 25. Is that going to be enough? Probably not. You. They're there, it is. We need 22 of them. Does that that does clip into that a little bit? Um, we'll do that. We'll do that. It does. It does work. It does work. Um, things will change up once we unlock new things because there are new wonderful fangled things to do. Uh, iron ore. There you go. So you burnt through all your iron ore and gave it all to this place here, and that's done. Your doing well, uh, you can have the last copper in it. Um, yeah, okie dokie. And uh, let's connect you up to the power again. Bump to this. And now with our system running at full power, we're using 30 out of 40 megawatts. So we're good. We will have to add some more power, which we can do soon because we've unlocked the biomass. Burn, we will unlock the biomass burn. I think that's the next upgrade, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this is the biomass burner and the space elevator, which I've never built. So that'll be the next episode, I think. Uh, I'm just going to basically wait for these to be done. Uh, we're not making the copper um, wire, but I'll manually do that. Um, and uh, then next episode, we'll put in our copper production, which will just be into a box here, I think. And uh, yeah, we'll just take them there. So, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. All. I hope to see you again next time. And uh, until then, oh, I fell off stuff. Um, until then, as always, have fun. Oh. <laughs>